Okay, start of the last quarter here at Dalton Park. Been in quite an entertaining game. Been very impressed with Newry up the football club as they forged to win their first premiership since the glory days of Ian Stafford in 2002. So, um, you know, it's been a long way coming, but uh, it's been something of uh, something in the making, especially for the New York and the, and, the, and, the, and the committee. So, well done. And so Braid's down. So um, kicks out to Fowlis now. Fowlis now. Fellas now to Hannaford. Hannaford now kick, kicks the ball long inside 50, looking for it. Chop of the arms maybe. Comes out to Ribbons now. Ribbons now on the left goes to Nash. Nash and one on one with Joel Latimer. Joel did very, very well there. Stewart now butters in, fights hard, runs over the footy and then falls in. So. More importantly for Gore Central is probably to get a couple back and get a little bit of respect back in the scoreboard. So 7-10 seven, seven, to 7-10 as Corey Solly runs the ball through. And he takes a kick out, Judy. So, so not, not, not many options are coming here. So it's Corey Solly. Corey Solly kicks long, wide, outside the 50 here. Flinny now gathers the footy. Now Stewie versus Slattery. So Slattery now. I'm very good in that one-on-one -on -one event. So Cal smothers the footy to right. Right, Stewart out to Cullen Heinz. Cullen Heinz now. Ryan Solder had to come off his mark. Brading now takes the mark inside 50. He can roost the ball. And a long hit. And Brading inside 50 kicks his third. So Braids, who's uh, look, he's kicked three, but he's going to be in you know goal central's leading goal kicker. So Brading now with three. Ryan Solder had to come off his man, off his man, to make come and make that decision. Brading was one left inside 50 by himself, and he makes no mistake and kicks goal central's eight. So it's 16, 10 to 8, 10. So Charlie Molina now, who's just a ball magnet, ball hungry. Very good. Unfortunately, Solly dodges one or two too many, and the ball them. So holding the ball, so he slats, <laughs> slats to Schultz now. Schultz, Schultzy, got the ball outside fifty. Come on, Jack Juniper, one on one. He's been very good all day. Takes the mark inside fifty. So nearly up to 16, 10 to 8, 10. Jack Juniper lines up for his second goal and kicks his second, and they go to 17, 10 to Gore Central's 18. So coming. Now we work your way into the last quarter here. You can probably since you now you start to work out who's the best on ground. Look, I think there's been times probably you know, anyone from Gore Central would probably be Molyneux, Blakemore. Jamar has been terrific in the ruck with his with his contested. He's had the contested with Craig Satford. That's been intriguing. So once again, that contested footy from Charlie Molyneux just loves that sort of footy out to the other side great chase by Dylan Pico and that's holding the ball now play on advantage so, so, so Blakemore now goes outside unfortunately just turns the footy over Craig Sapford slaps the ball forward in comes Jamar Jamar taps the ball forward to Chuck Fuller so Fuller's foulless now kicks the ball out towards Slattery Slattery who's been good he's been good today you can just see the AFL experience and SNFL experience and Charlie un. un Unlucky for Charlie. Jupiter swings around on the left foot as he kicked it to Nash. No, at free through for behind. You know, Fowlis has been good. He was good early. Ended up, he's kicked four already. 
he was good early. You know, I think Demarcy has been very good. Craig Satford, you know, once again, the, it's a 50-50 call between him and Jamer. Demarcy has been good. Um, you know, Nat Solder has been good. Slattery has just controlled the halfback flank well today. So Solly, he's had a good second half since moving into the footy. Unfortunately for Stewie, he didn't come out the footy. Goes to Baldwin, Baldwin, who's been impressive, to Gogol on the left, inside 50. Demarcy's knocked off the ball, Burns, so it's Jay Casher, who's been a bit of a swing man today. He's been back, forward, so Blakemore now comes back to the other side. Goes to, oh, Nash. Unfortunately, Blakemore, Blakemore now takes the ball over to Flinney. Flinney takes the mark there. Just a little bit of chaos there, a bit of uncertainty. Blakemore nearly turned it. Sorts to give to Luke Edwards. Luke Edwards on the burst now. He runs through the arc. This is what Gould Centrals need to be doing right from the start. It sends out to Charlie. Charlie inside 50 and uses the footy. Charlie now wheels, goes inside 50, finds Guru. We haven't called his name a lot today, Clint Healy. Then goes out to Brading. So Brading from outside 50, lines up for his thing, and he ends up kicking his fourth. So... Craig Sapford v Jamar wins the tap but doesn't go to any new. So it goes forward. Callum Hunt sends the ball forward and Brading takes a mark out something. So Brading who could probably kick this. He's a big kick of the footy, Braids. So there's Brading, so there's there's his fifth, the big fella. So Gawler Central's go to 10-10 to New Route to 17. So 17-10, 112 to Gawler Central's 10-10-70. And the big fellas go at it again. So that's probably three or four clearances in a row. So Solly out to Flynn. Flynn, Flynn. And Dunny takes the mark inside 50. So once again, a serum clearance. That's the third in a row now. That's three in a row now. Couple to Brading, one to Dunn. Dunn's got his third. So Brading's got five. Dunn's got three. Colehurst two. Mercer one. So once again, we're back to the six goal buffer. <laughs> Ever since probably we're halfway through the second quarter, it's always been about the six goal buffer. It's blown out to ten, nine goals, but then it's just that six goal. Can they break the six goal barrier? This is the next question is going to be asked in the next ten or ne in the next ten or fifteen minutes. Call essentials get the next one, then who knows? That 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 belief could be on. So Solly now, Solly now he wobbles that forward, and now all of a sudden, all of a sudden, oh lord. Thomas Dunn, what was he thinking? Mark the goal in the goal square, and somehow, well, and you, Bruce did that last week, last night again, you know, with the Hawthorne, missed that one in the goal square, or Hodge. Amazing. Sometimes you just wonder, and I'm sure Darren Reeves and Damien Hersey are asking, as coaches, what goes through the footballers' minds at times. So Flynn goes up now, so Braids, so Braids. Yeah. 
So Braids with three out of the last four goals. Gore Central's go to 12-10. Tenori up to 17-10. Now is this the question going to be asked? Jake! 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 You've all got to keep running! Come on, Hilly, get him, John! So all of a sudden... All of a sudden, back to that five-goal buffer. Jamo now to Solly. Once again, Solly's just starting to get his hands on the foot. He's been a very instrument. Mm. So there we go from, what's the name? So there. Damn. So, you know, probably 10, 15 minutes to go. It's just that uncertainty zone at the moment. Gold Central's got to keep attacking. Nuri have been all over them ever since the, probably halfway through the first quarter. You know, once again, there's just that self-belief. If they happen to get the next one, that gets to that four-goal buffer. All of a sudden, things are going well for Gold Centrals. So, Jama versus Craig, Craig Sackford. What's up, Rob Fluter going to do here? He's going to throw it up again, Matt, Matty Phillips. So Craig Sapford versus Finn. Good Cal Heinz. Cal Heinz on the defensive side as that soccer keeper. Kicks the ball high and up. In comes Brading. Brading's actually woken up. He's kicked six. He's kicked four in this last quarter. Unbelievable. Where, 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 where was he in the first three quarters? That's, what was the that's the frustrating part of all this. We all know he's a game breaker, but he's just left it. Charlie, who's been very good for Goyle Centrals today. And then over to DeMarcy. Now, he's been very good for Nuri. He goes forward looking for Jupiter so in the foot. Luke Edwards now for Craig Schultz. He's got a lot of speed. Goes to Juniper. And it comes out, comes Byrne. Now, Byrne's got the footy. We haven't said his name a lot today. <laughs> More so, Juniper has been very good. So, Byrne now against the grain a little bit as Gore Centrals have dominated the last five to ten minutes. So Byrne now hits the post. So 17-11 to 12-10. So 31 points. So go Luke Edwards. So Luke Edwards now. Play on at all costs. It's just got to be instructed to play on at all costs. Yours, Tommy! Yours, so, Tommy! So Tom Dunn to, to Roddy. To, so Roddy. So Roddy. So Roddy's off. So Braid's so Braves now he's on the So Braves on the on, on the left hand side. Oh young Pilkey can just overrun it. He gets a second opportunity. He's Stewart. Stewart now there, snaps, snaps and point. 17-11 to 12-10. So five got so 17, 11, 12, 11. <laughs> So they've kicked five one. To one, Boys two in this quarter. <laughs> so, so Cow, Cow dodges, Weavers gets around his opponent, goes inside 50, looking for Roddy. Roddy just misses it. Out comes Mercer, who's had a quiet day today. And then goes, so it goes through there. So Soots now, Soots handles over the top to Callan Hines. Callan Hines now goes down the line looking for Roddy. Roddy now takes the mark. So across half forward, so righty, go to Solly, Solly at the top of the tree. So Solly at the top of the tree, he creates a crowd now, and in the mark goes Hannaford. Hannaford takes a, a great mark. Oh, he's turned the footy over here. This is a crucial ball here. So Luke Edwards, so Luke Edwards through the middle of the ground, missed him. Missed Solly inside. Hannaford, who's been quite solid back there, he's been very good there. So in comes Mercer. Mercer now snaps across his shoulder. One on one footed. Great. So good Pil Pilkinton makes a contest, which is good. Till now runs the ball out of bounds. Slattery picks up the footy. Cross half back. He sends it. Exit to oh, rebound oh, 50. Oh, yeah. Cow takes the mark. He plays on. He takes it. Oh, oh, that's a horrible looking kick going inside. And the ball goes out of bounds.
So tap to there, out to Rodder. So now Jakey, Jakey wins the footy. So you saw, mm. you saw, you saw. So the Hilly, to Hilly, to Juniper, Juniper to the Shoals. Shoals, so Guru gets up and out to Jake. Jake, 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 Jake to so Charlie. Charlie now, Charlie now dodges Weeze, gives his handball out to Luke Edwards. So Luke, Ed Luke Edwards, Ed oh, mm, and the ball up. Just cross our foot. Well well so Jamar wins his tap out to the first here to Blakemore. Blakemore now on the outer side, hanging on. Girl <sighs> centrals are coming. There's still 10 or 12 minutes. So Callan Hines inside the Flynn. So Flynn. So Flynn goes deep to numbers to Mercer. So Mercer takes a takes a strong takes a strong mark, not paid. And the ball goes out of bounds. So Craig Setford goes to the outside here. Gilly goes in hard, finds Stewart. Stewart tries a soccer off the ground. Rodder now. Jake, this is, oh, Paul. this is a turnover. Jake Asher. Jake Asher inside. Craig, didn't live down. Didn't live down. Ooh, a very important kick, this one. <laughs> this gets it win the four. Kicks this, win the four. Twelve, twelve to seven, seventeen or eleven, twenty-nine points. How crucial that could have been. So plenty to Solly. Solly, that's a mark. He's been very good in the second half, Solly, on the footy. He's been very good in the second half on the footy. So DeMarcy kicks the ball forward for New York. There's the 50-50. Ribbons, Ribbons v Luke Edwards. Casey Thomas mops up at the back there. He finds Chuck Fallis. Chuck Fallis is on the run. So he's on he's on side 50, going to Jupiter and turnovers. And they end up kicking the goal. So Jack Jupiter. <laughs> so Jack Juniper now lines up and he's kicked it. That's his third. Been a very influential player today. Across that half forward. He's kicked three, fellas four, Nash three. And for Gore Central's Bradings is the leading goal kicker on the ground with six. So 18 11 to 20. So Ribbons now take transfers play to the other side. Dimmer has been very good, but probably between him and to Marcy, Slattery, and uh, Juniper. Oh, they'll be the best on ground, I feel. The battle between Go probably Craig Satford and Go Jay Mar, this probably evened itself out. You know, without yeah. really, without really one, without really one of the, the big fellas really dominating, they've actually cancelled each other out. But it's been a, it's been a great battle. This bloke's been very good. This bloke has been very good all day. Same with Demarcy. Work hard, push back. So 18, 11 to 12, 12. So Baldy now. Jupiter now out to Dunham. 
Dom's out. He plays on now. He kicks the ball long to no one. Solly, he takes a timely mark across half back. Once again, he's been good. The transfer of play to Pilkin. He's been good, this kid. He's only had limited opportunities, but he's been good. To Blake Moore, Blake Moore hotly can, takes a good contested mark across half back. He goes a back cross here to, oh, and turns the footy over to Byrne. Byrne now handles to Stewart. Stewart now wraps him up. Should have been holding the ball. Two high shoes. He, he plays on the ball. So Byrne now, he, he gives the back handles out to Craig Sapford. Craig Sapford kicks the ball inside 50 and he's found ball. Now it's just, it's just junk time now. And... And Slattery now probably finishes off some good work that he's done today. <laughs> Lines up for a goal. So Slattery now. Kicks the goal, puts the icing on the cake, I feel. 19, 11 to 12, 12, 41 points once again. Tell the midfield, use the fucking corridor. Especially Jace. So nearly up to 19 11, 125. The goal essential is 12 12. So, as I've been saying all day, it's the seven goal break. <laughs> so, Craig Sapford now, Roddy hits the ball forward looking for Dunn. Dunn comes out, the break, knocked by Juno. Charlie, great spot, handles out to Ch Dunn. Dunn now been hanging on to and a free kick to Thomas Dunn. So, Thomas Dunn gets an opportunity to kick his fourth. Settle, settle, settle! And a point. So 19, 11 to 12, 13. I wouldn't have thought so. Really. <laughs> Probably got a bit more charisma than me. Juno <laughs> kicks the ball forward and Solly takes a mark across half back. So Solly. Probably been the best player for Goal Centrals in the second half with his influence around the footy and on the footy. He's been very good. <laughs> so Demarcy now left footer goes in, goes to the level, out to Burn. Burn now the ball beats him out and it's out of bounds. So. Some very tired players today. 21. Mm. So Jamar now, Jamar kicks the ball inside 50 for Gawler Central. Who they Hannaford flies for the mark. Tyson should have been there. Doesn't take gives a handball to Fowlis. Fowlis now, Chuka Fowlis. Yeah, go on the ball. Gives a hand pass to Pilkington. So Pilkington. Go on, Get it in, Pilko! Get it in! So Pilko kicks the ball long, searching for a mark inside 50, and Gogol, who takes a defensive mark. He's taken a few there. It's probably just a period for 10 or 15. Probably He's had Braids. Braids had the better of him. Braids had a really good purple patch there. He kicked four in about five or six minutes. Out of bounds on the full. So... Oh, Moddy, and then Hunty. Hunty has a bit of a snap and then kicks the goal in junk time. Bradley Hunt kicks a good goal there. 
makes Gawler Central 13-13 to nearly up to 9-11 again. So, so Jay Martin, another good tap. In goes Hilly. Hilly now to Sol. Sol kicks the ball forward, looking for Mercer. Mercer has been well held today, only with the one goal, and that's Chuka Fallis. Chuka Fallis, who started well on the wing. He went to Hannaford. Hannaford now. Hanford now kicks the ball forward and so here we go so Hilly so Hilly now comes inside board looking for Hunt Hunt Ribbons pumps the ball away he'll go he'll go he'll go what's his first name Hilly finds Charlie Molyneux. So Hunt, Hunt's and so Solid, so Hook Solid and punches the ball out of bounds by Nat Salter. You can just see the work rate in here, he'll just drop him back, numbers in front of Mercer. So as this game fizzles out, congratulations to Nuri at the footy club, great result. Best team all year, undefeated, and Luke Edwards snaps around the body, kicks truly, and, and kicks a goal. So 14-13 to 19-11, 28 points. As I said, there's things sort of come out of the game a lot here. Obviously, Gordon Central's get, getting a few in junk time at the, at the moment. Well-deserved, best team in the competition. You know, you go for a season undefeated, it's fantastic effort. And with only the one draw, which was against these two sides, that goal over early in the year. Mm. So once again, Rob Polito throws the ball up. And Jamar wins the tap to Blakemore. Blakemore now can't, can't take the contest of footy. So he tapped it. So he stood in there. So he stood in there. So he stood in there. Hand. Gary tackles. Misses the, misses the target. Brading will he turn his opponent inside out? Now righty. Righty now. And will gets a little bit too high. Brady's on now. He kicks the ball to the inside 50. Callan Hines goes Charlie. for a fly. Charlie gathers the footy. Just can't quite take it. Zach Dan. Mercer. And Mercer tackles inside 50. Could be debatable with it. Could have been holding the ball. Ball throws in. Jamar versus Cratchit. Off the thing, Solly for his good good return for his work. Point. So not they go to 14-15 to nearly up to 19-11. So five goals. So Craig Satford takes a mark across there, kicks on, finds Luke Edwards. Luke Edwards goes inside to Solly. Solly now, he can take off. Solly now one on one, kicks the ball to Dunn. Dunn, his direct opponent, Juno, and the ball goes out of bounds. Mm. So he's probably looking around ring again, obviously Nash, that's he's been a great duel. You know, Flynn v. Robolo. Probably th Flynn's probably got the things there. But it's just the oh simple God, sim oh. simple of the work rate of the Newry of the footy club and the midfield and their, their ability to run for one another and understand that they work for one another and you know their defensive pressure inside. You know, and then this is where this is what happens when you do put enough pressure, you can actually slingshot the outside and really hurt your opposition between the arcs by that slingshot footy. 
ball gets thumped out on the other side here. It's been a terrific day, fine day here. So 19-11 to 14-14. Um, to Foreman, Foreman now handball. So Rodder now handles back to Fowlers. Fowlers is the left footer. Goes inside 50, looking for Robolo. Robolo can't take the grab. Takes, he's been world held by Flynn. Probably one of the goal centuries better, better today. Robolo defends off, tries to take take everyone on. In goes Ribbo. Ribbo handles over the top now. Over to Nash. Nash now. He can't take the footy. Casey Thomas gets the handball out to Luke Edwards. Luke Edwards has been fantastic there. Out to Ribbons. Ribbons snaps over his shoulder and finds a broken righty. Righty now. So right now. Last line. Goes the talk. Sam Hanford. Sam Hanford. He now, he's been very good across halfback. Him and, him and Salter. And probably Slattery has been very confined across the halfback flank. There. He's been very good. And out of bounds on the full. So as we draw a close here. It's that Blake, uh, Jack Jun Juniper, who's got the footy. He's had a terrific day. They've just had too many winners all over the park nearly today. They spread, they run. They do all the good things that a good footy side does. Juniper's given it an absolute roost in just off line team. So Charlie, Charlie now goes transfers play to the other side. So, mm, that is the final siren. Nearly up to 19-12, 126, the goal essentials 14-14. Well deserved. And then Nearly up for the first time since 2002 are the winners in 2015. Nearly right on a football club. High grade, premiers 2015. Well done. So, you know, 19 12 to 14 14. Well deserved winners. Well coached. Darren Reeves, congratulations to Darren Reeves. But my understanding, a terrific bloke. Well deserved. Well done to the committee of the Murray at the Footy Club. Commiserations to the Gawler Central Footy Club to, and to Damien Hosick. And well done to Nuri Upta Premiers for 2015. As I said, the first time since their glory days of me in Stafford. The last one was 2002. So well done. Too many winners. Great game of footy. Most enjoyable. Songling off here at Kapunda Footy Club. Well done. Probably for the Norm Smith. Look, I think Jack Juniper is probably the one. Yeah, well 